Okay, the last video was on the epithelial tissues, and this video is going to be over the connective tissues. So the big tissue category for all of these tissues is going to be connective tissue. This is the first tissue. This one is areolar. Areolar looks like spider webs with a bunch of bugs caught in it. So the spider webs are the dark purple lines and these pink lines, and the little blood bugs are the dark dots. So again, areolar looks like a spider web with bugs caught in it. So the big tissue category here is connective, and a specific tissue is areolar. Again, this is what it looks like underneath the microscope. Looks like spider web with bugs caught in it. So this is areolar, and the big tissue category name, our big tissue category is connective tissue. Specific name is areolar. The next one is adipose tissue. Adipose tissue is your fat. So we have large collections of adipose tissue in the boob, the butt, and the belly. Adipose tissue looks like cottage cheese. So each of these little bubbles is a bubble or ball of fat. So the big tissue category is connective and the specific tissue name is adipose. This is what adipose looks like underneath the microscope. So again, you see it looks like cottage cheese or a bunch of little white balls. So the specific tissue name is adipose tissue. And the big tissue category is connective. The next one we have is dense regular or dense fibrous. You can say either name, dense fibrous or dense regular. Dense regular looks like a soft stream where the waves are very small and very calm. So you'll see here that our waves kind of go up, down, up, down, very, very light, very, very soft. So those waves clue you in that this is gonna be dense regular. So the big tissue category is connective. The specific tissue name is dense fibrous or dense regular. This is what it looks like under the scope. And again, you can see the little waves going on, especially on the bottom of this slide. Those nice calm waves clue you in that this is dense regular. That's a specific tissue name. And the big tissue category is connective. The next tissue is called reticular. Reticular tissue is found in the kidneys and the spleen. They're gonna be a bunch of little reddish purple dots. And sometimes you can see dark fibers or dark lines running through it. Some people say that it looks like a cherry blossom. This is what it looks like underneath the scope or underneath the slide. So you're seeing a bunch of dots all over the place. They range in color from a reddish orange to a pink to a brown. And you'll see the dark lines running through it. So it somewhat looks like a cherry blossom. This specific tissue is reticular and the big tissue category is connective. The next tissue is bone. Bone looks like tree rings. So if you cut down a tree and you look into the stump, that's what this looks like, the rings of a tree. So this specific tissue is bone and the big tissue category is connective. This is what it looks like under the scope. So you see the tree rings there. So if you see tree rings, that specific tissue is called bone and the big tissue category is connective. The next one we have here is hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage has these big circles and then inside they have a specialized cell. So you see these big circles with the specialized cells inside of them with the background being a baby pink or a baby purple to baby blue, this clues you in that this is hyaline cartilage and the big tissue category is connective. So again, this is hyaline cartilage. You see those baby colors, the baby pink, the baby purple or the baby blue. You see these big um, pockets or these big circles with the cells inside. So this is the specific tissue called hyaline cartilage and the big tissue category is connective. This one here is 
fibrocartilage. You're going to find fibrocartilage between the vertebrae. So this picture of fibrocartilage, you see a lot of blue fibers with little red dots. Those little red dots are specialized cells. So this specific tissue is fibrocartilage and the big tissue category is connective. Okay, I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna find the other picture of, okay, so this picture right here that you're seeing, this picture looks like the lava flow. This is the other picture of fibrocartilage. This is what ours looks like underneath our microscopes. And um, so this is the other picture you need to know for fibrocartilage, okay? Now going back over here, this is a picture you need to know. You can see either picture, okay? So be aware that there are two pictures of fibrocartilage. This one where it shows the blue fibers and the other one where it shows the lava flow. 